The entrance of any drug in your body is like an intruder entering into your body. Now, what should be done to deal with an intruder? Our body treats the drugs as something foreign, which is why they're also called xenobiotics. Xenos stands for stranger and biotic is related to living beings. In simpler words, it is something strange, separate, or foreign to the living being. Let me explain you through an example how the airport staff is going to manage the theft, robberies, and smuggling at the airport. Definitely, no one is going to bear such a trauma and want to get rid of it as soon as possible. At the airport, they have custom check to identify any type of a suspicious thing. Airport staff checks every person and when they find out any objectionable thing, they immediately send it out of the airport. Same is the case with our body. When anything enters, our body has created some custom check-ins to identify this. If it is safe for body, it is sent to its side of action. If not, it is rapidly converted to a product that can be easily moved out. So you can say quick detoxification of any substance that cannot be otherwise utilized to serve the needs of the body. This whole process is called metabolism. In terms of pharmacology, metabolism means biotransformation of pharmaceutical product inside your body. Bio means life and transformation means change. So it is obvious the original product is being changed. It is a part of the pharmacokinetics of a drug. If we recall, we had the following elements. Absorption, how the drug will get in. Distribution, where will it go? Metabolism, how it is broken down. And excretion, how does it leave? We already discussed how metabolism occurs at proper check-in points. The question arises, what are these particular locations where any foreign thing is analyzed? These include lungs, any drunk entering nasally is screened here, the gastrointestinal tract, for oral drugs mostly it gets screened there and then traveling to the liver, liver the main boss, epithelial cells of the kidney, where it gets screened one last time. Since these organs play a vital role in the pharmacokinetics of the drug, so keep in mind that any diseases affecting these organs will disrupt the pharmacokinetics as well. We talked about how the main player or the big boss is the liver. In oral route of the drugs, this is the most common region where the drug ends up after the GI tract. Firstly, because it is a large spaced organ. Secondly, it has all the right tools that are the extensive enzyme systems to analyze and detoxify substances. This analysis process is called the first pass metabolism. When the drug is taken orally, it reaches the stomach. From there on, the dose is absorbed and it enters into the portal circulation. From there on, it reaches the hepatic circulation and the gastrointestinal tract for further metabolism. 70% of the dose reaches the hepatic circulation and gastrointestinal tract. Only 15% of the total dose administered reaches the systemic circulation at the therapeutic site. And only 10% of the total dose is excreted out of the body. 
So we can say that toxic part is removed from the body and the rest is moved out to the site of action, which is said to be the therapeutic dose of the drug. That is why the therapeutic dose of the drug in the blood is low than the dose intake. Since it goes through all these screening processes, in the recent times, the classic example of this is the COVID-19 subfamily drug, Remdesivir. This drug is not administered orally because the entire dose is stuck up in the liver and the very small amount reaches in the systemic circulation. So reaching the cells being affected by the virus is very hard this way which is why it is injected intravenously so it reaches our organs by passing all the screening methods of the liver, which is the first pass metabolism. So now let's go into the details of each of these reactions and the processes of how the drug is changed on the check-in points inside our body.